performing at the peak of her powers, and it is a new world record. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is probably the greatest of all time in women's hurdling, particularly the 400 meter hurdles. Remember her record breaking gold run at the Olympics? Yeah, Sydney just made a massive career announcement that rocked the world of sports. What's going on with the track superstar? Or is there a bun in her oven after Paris? Could this be a call for retirement? Do I need this in my life? Wow. We out. <laughs> at the age of 16, Sydney made her international debut at the Rio Olympics in 2016. Yes, she was competing against the finest in the world while still in high school. On the youngster coming through, McLaughlin, just 16 year old, is heading for Rio. After Rio, McLaughlin went to the University of Kentucky to train with coach Edric Florial. She kept improving her timing and breaking records at the professional and collegiate levels. Not long after, she moved up again, signing with New Balance as a professional in 2018. Breathe. Visualize. Execute. Lean forward. Now look more intense for the camera. Nailed it. Sydney changed coaches in 2020 to train with Bob Kersey, a well-known coach who has worked with elite athletes like Allison Felix and Jackie Joyner Kersey. So it's no accident that her biggest breakthrough came at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. During the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, Sydney came to the center of attention by breaking the world record in the 400 meter hurdles with an incredible timing of 51.46 seconds, winning the gold medal. She went one step further in 2022, breaking her own record with a time of 50.68 seconds at the World Championships. So what's Sydney's big announcement today? How far can she go? She's gone pretty far already, that's for sure, leaving sports fans all over the world dazzled by this type of performance. Beyond the awards and historic events, however, Sydney emerged as a genuine worldwide sporting symbol with a winning personality and a smile to die for. But did you know Sydney may soon switch to the 100 meters? After all, her coach, the renowned Bob Kersey, has a track record of helping athletes succeed in several sprint competitions. Given her prowess in the hurdles and longer sprints, competing against the world's best sprinters in the 100 meters would be an exciting test of her explosive speed. Imagine Shakari Richardson and Sydney McLaughlin going band for band. The 100 meters requires perfect acceleration and flawless starts, both of which call for a great deal of preparation. You bet Sydney would love this new kind of challenge. After two Olympic gold medals, accolades, awards, and achievements, could it be that she's looking to, you know, expand her family? It's reasonable to expect since she's already an accomplished athlete with enough endorsements to live on and has been married to former NFL player Andre Lavrone Jr. since May 2022. So far, they've not had kids because they've been focused on their professional lives. So there has literally been no time for kids. Could that change now? Andre Lavrone Jr. used to be an NFL wide receiver before he became a real estate developer. Sydney McLaughlin met him in 2020 after they were introduced through mutual friends, and their relationship quickly blossomed. Their bond blossomed to lifetime commitment during the challenging period of the COVID-19 pandemic, which allowed them to spend quality time together without the distractions of their typically busy schedules. Sydney has shared in interviews that her Christian faith is a foundational aspect of her life, and this became a key connection point with Andre. Their shared faith and commitment to God helped them build a strong emotional and spiritual connection. Both have been open about how important their faith is in guiding their relationship, decisions, and even their careers. I think God has done so much through me, not only on the track, but just being able to reach people. And mm -hmm. I think that's what he's given me the platform to do. And I don't think I would have done anything on that stage at the Olympics if it wasn't for him. Andre proposed to Sydney in August, 2021, shortly after her historic win at the Tokyo Olympics. What a way to go. Andre and I met when he slid into the DMs. <laughs> what inspires me most about Andre is how much he pushes me to be the best that I can be. Not a lot of people truly see the purity in everybody, but he does. 
In our relationship, there's never judgment. Uh, it's truly just love and concern and being able to have open, honest dialogue where you can get things out there. A perfect date with Andre would be probably the second date we had ever. We went to the beach, we brought food, and then we realized we didn't have forks and we ate salmon with our hands. It was such a bonding moment that now I'm like, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Is that good? Okay. Now it seems that although kids are on the cards, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone might just want to break away from the spotlight to put her physical and mental health first. Sydney made it clear that her health had to come first, even though she didn't go into specifics. For someone who has dominated the track for years, this was not an easy choice. The relentless drive to be the best needs some recharging, so she's taking the wise step back, even if it means staying away from the competition she has dominated on the world's biggest stage. I don't know that the perfect race is possible, but I do think there's always things to improve upon. Um, yeah, I mean, the 400 hurdles is such a balance of stride pattern, stride frequency, um, endurance, technicality. So there's always something that's kind of out of balance. Um, but yeah, I think I love looking at my race and just trying to figure out how I can work those things down as best as possible. A competitor, you always want to strive for more, and that's natural. It's a part of our sport, you know. Nobody likes to, to lose, but I, at the same time, there's grace. I've learned over the years that I'm, this is what I do. It's not who I am. What's it like, you know, you have the TR, you have the American flag, you step out. What's yeah. going through your head in those moments? Just savor this. You know, these are the moments you look back on and, and you show your kids and you talk about these times. I just want to soak it all in and take it for what it is. You may be wondering, what kind of health issue could sideline an athlete at the top of their game? We can only imagine the tremendous physical and mental toll that comes with competing at this level. But Sydney hasn't disclosed any specifics, though. It serves as a sobering reminder that even elite athletes like Sydney are only human, and that health comes first. The floodgates opened when the news leaked. Sports stars, athletes, and fans from all around the world took to social media to show their respect for Sydney not just for her accomplishments on the track, but also for her courage in putting her health first. Love and support messages were all over Twitter. Some supporters talked about how Sydney's accomplishments over the years have motivated them in their daily lives, as well as as athletes. Fans weren't the only ones who responded. Athletes praised her bravery and emphasized that it takes as much guts to stand aside when necessary as it does to break a world record. She is more than simply a competitor. She is a representation of what it means to be strong, determined, and fearless on and off the track. And the support she has received only serves to highlight how much she means to the sports community. But why is this announcement so devastating? Well, it's not often that an Olympic gold medalist and world record holder takes a break off while still at the top of their game. She is reminding us that sometimes, even if it means giving up something you love, your health and well-being must come first. In recent years, athletes like Simone Biles and Naomi Osaka have also spurred similar discussion, so Sydney's choice fits within a larger pattern. Despite Sydney's decision to stop competing, many people are curious about what this athletic sensation will do next. Will she become a coach? Campaigning? Either way, she is already serving as a mentor to future athletes. One thing is certain, no matter what she chooses to do, she will continue to have a significant impact on the sport. Sydney's impact is far from over. Whether she continues to advocate for mental health and athlete fitness, work on new ventures, or inspire young athletes. When do you think Sydney's coming back? Let us know in the comments section below. Which Sydney McLaughlin moment is your favorite? For more in-depth info on the stories that matter in the sports world, don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe.